Hi girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about that I finally got my wisdom teeth removed. So before the surgery, I had to make sure I had to wear short sleeves to make sure that the doctor would, you know, wouldn't have to lift up my sleeves and make sure they had, um, they had to check my veins and administer the IV and make sure I wouldn't have to eat or drink anything for the past six hours before surgery. So no other complications of nausea or vomiting or any other things like that would happen. So as soon as the day came, my mom took me in um, to the waiting room. We waited for a good minute or two. And as soon as my name was called, I went into the operation room, got reclining back on the like a recliner chair. And then um, the assistant doctor came in with this thin blue cap to wrap around my head to make sure no hair would get in the way. And then she put like this little clip on my finger and then grab like these little sticky circle things, put on my heart and my ribs, and then put a blood pressure cuff on one of my arms to check my blood pressure. And then the oral surgeon, the doctor, came by and grabbed the IV and um, put the, administer the IV and the needle in my arm, which didn't hurt by the way. I'd say the pain scale on that needle was like a one or a two out of 10. Not as bad as, the, as when I got my tattoo, not as bad as when I got my blood drawn, and clearly not as bad as getting a flu shot. It was not as bad as I thought it would be. And then it took like a good minute or two for the anesthesia to kick in, to kick in, excuse me. And by the time it did kick in, I was out like a light. And um, the funny thing is, the last few minutes of the surgery, my eyes were closed, but for some reason, I could clearly hear the doctors, like the um, assistant and the doctor, you know, wrapping things up, making sure everything was all good. And then for some strange reason, I felt like a, a sharp poke on the top of, on the top, my top lip. And it was weird. And then after all of that, the doctor woke me up and then I woke up all numb as hell, all numb, but not loopy. I didn't say any weird shit and I didn't have any mem I didn't have any memory loss because I could clearly remember. I remember the doctor saying that it was all success. It lasted 45 minutes and that I'll recover just fine. And I had a bunch of gauze in my mouth to um, um, stop making sure my mouth would stop bleeding and everything would clot. And then I had like a little ice pack wrapped around my head to reduce swelling and I could not move my legs. I felt like I couldn't move my legs. I don't like the end, like everything felt so heavy. I could move my arms a little bit, but I couldn't even lift my leg up for too long. I felt like I was an extra 200 pounds or something. Shit, I felt so heavy. Like it was the weirdest feeling ever. And then the assistant doctor came by and held out my wisdom teeth just so I could see them. And she gently, she nicely asked me, would you like to keep your wisdom teeth? And while she said that, I was thinking, really? What do you expect me to do with these wisdom teeth? Put them under my pillow and expect the tooth fairy to come pick them up and give me $5 a tooth? No, unless I'm like a weird tooth collector or something. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my wisdom teeth. Like if anybody keeps anything that they would have during surgery or some after surgery or something if they get something removed but i gently re um, declined her offer and then she probably like threw away those teeth after surgery so my mom came in took a picture of me while i was all numb and everything just felt weird as hell and then my mom gently picked me up and nicely like grabbed my arm just so i wouldn't fall over and um, dragged me all the way to her car, and then I went home. Everything felt really good. I was all numb, didn't feel anything, and I was just chilling in my room, watching Disney Plus all day. And then my mom had to go to the pharmacy to pick up my prescriptions, a, prescri a prescription of strong painkillers that I would take every six hours as needed to make sure, like, if if any of the swelling or if any of the... The soreness would is if it's bugging me, I would take a, I would take one pill every six hours as needed, just so I wouldn't you know get addicted to that shit because it's because the, the bottle clearly says it's addictive, and that's understandable because those are some strong shit. 
And then the second prescription I had was a special mouthwash. Now, I was, I'm never, I'm not a good, big fan of mouthwash, but for this occasion, I had to use it because this mouthwash was used to like re um, reduce redness and make sure everything was all, all good. So I would swish it in my mouth for 30 seconds and I would use it every morning and every night after I brushed my teeth and everything was all good. I was just chilling and my mom took care of me all day. And the recovery process and the soreness can be an, can be an ass sometimes, but it wasn't that bad. I, I feel great. All the, all the surgery thing, I'm just glad no other future problems would have, if I would have kept my wisdom teeth in for like a few years, I could have had huge problems like impacted teeth, any rotting teeth. So I'm just glad none of that was happy. I'm just glad everything is over. Everything is done with. And my mom is glad too. So I feel great. And if any of you guys are like nervous of getting your wisdom teeth removed in the future, or if you had your wisdom teeth removed, I just want to let you guys know from my experience, it wasn't that bad. I did feel soreness for a while, but it nothing, um, nothing but um, soft foods like ice cream would help. It really helps when you eat soft foods um, to reduce any soreness or swelling or anything like that. And it, it was really good. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.